Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be creating a... Okay, well today I'm going to be recreating iconic makeup looks. Kind of. Okay, so I'm going to be doing Audrey Hepburn's look in Breakfast at Tiffany's, like the iconic picture. I'll insert it later. Or here. Yeah, I'll insert it here. And then I'm going to do Liza Minnelli's Sally Bowles from Cabaret. So let's get into the video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is the I'm gonna do the Audrey Hepburn look first. Okay, so I'm going to um so I'm going to recreate Audrey Hepburn's look from Breakfast at Tiffany's first. Okay, so first I'm gonna take the Mario Badescu rose water spray and just freshen my face. Okay, I just I love that. I also got it on sale at Urban a while ago, so it was exciting. And then I'm going to use this Honey Do Me Up Primer because I'm going to use a lot of powder and I don't want my face to look too matte and cakey, so I'm just going to do it up a little. This stuff, it's so weird. Like I'd watched videos of people putting this on. And it is so, I don't know, it's so stringy almost, like it, it, strings get everywhere. It's like hot glue. When you're hot gluing something and the glue gets everywhere, that's what it's like. It's so weird. Okay, she's really filled in eyebrows and mine are almost there. But they also still look natural, so I'm gonna take this, um, this MAC Cosmetics Lingering eyebrow oh, oh it's the eyebrow styler eyebrow pencil in the shade lingering and i didn't know that that was the shade name because i'd gotten this in a boxy charm and i didn't know that it was the shade name oh well okay so i like ran out of it after because i loved it so much and then i didn't know that it was the shade name i couldn't remember really what it was called but i was at the airport and there was a mac store in the airport so, I went, okay, what I'm doing, sorry, hang on, what I'm doing is I'm just outlining the bottom of my eyebrow and then filling in above it with light strokes so that it doesn't look too heavy and then I'm just brushing through. I'm doing my favorite eyebrow first because that's the way the world works man okay anyway I was at the airport and I w and I walked right past a Mac store when I was looking for a Starbucks which they didn't have a Starbucks on my side of the airport and that was really depressing well that was really sad anyway um I walked into the Mac store and I was like hi do you have the lingering eyebrow pencil and she was like what? And I was like, uh, I don't know what it's called. I got it in my boxy charm um, a while ago, like back in September. But this was um, in July or June or something, or August. I don't know. It was sometime this summer when I was talking to her, at, talking to the lady at the Mac store. So it was a while ago. And then, and the boxy charm pencil was a while ago too. Anyway, I was like, I don't remember when I got it, but I really liked it, and it ran out, and I can't find it here. And she was like, Oh, you mean our eyebrow pencil or eyebrow styler or something? And I was like, Oh, sure. And she was like, Okay, so we have a shade called lingering, and I was like, Oh. Uh. Um, I'm sorry if you just watched that and heard my really, really, really uninteresting story about 
the Mac store in the airport and me trying to figure out which eyebrow pencil was the right one. But if you did, here's the video. Okay, so here are my eyebrows right now. Okay, now I'm going to take the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. Yeah, they only have like four shades. And I'm just gonna sweep it through to hold them in place and to add more definition. Okay, eyebrows done. Now I'm going to, I'm gonna take Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I have plenty of palettes I could have used for this. Oh wait, first I'm gonna take the my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee, which I think is 2.5. It's light 2.5 in the shade Creme Brulee. First, on this, on my BH Cosmetics 101 brush, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this shade here and buff it into my crease. Okay, on this. Um, Vintage Cosmetics Step 1 brush. I'm gonna take this deep brown shade here and I'm just gonna put it super light into my crease. I'm gonna go back with that other brush, not add any extra product on, but just Go in and blend. Okay, now we're basically done with the eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna take this flawless brow highlighter, but I'm not using it as a brow highlighter. Um, you can take any sort of cream colored eyeliner or like a white eyeliner. I didn't have a white one. I couldn't find a white one. I thought I had a white one. I guess not, and I'm gonna take it and t start, and like I'm gonna go on my waterline and then drag it out just a little bit this way and put it right in my inner corner. It's a reusable straw. And this is my LaCroix in coconut. Mm. Delicious. I love LaCroix. Now I'm going to move on to foundation today and every day because I don't shop for foundation. I don't have a reason to shop for foundation, so I just don't because I don't like wearing foundation. I also don't like it when you can go up to girls and like look like you can just take your finger and go and the makeup just comes off. I mean, whatever floats their boat, that's cool, but it's just not for me. This is the CoverGirl um, Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Um, it's 3-in-1 because it has the lasting power of a primer, the coverage of a concealer, and the blendability of a foundation. I mean, okay, I like it in the shade 820 Creamy Neutral, and I'm going to take it on my fake beauty blender that I got from Walmart. Wow, I am breaking out along my hairline. That's sad. Look at this crap. I'm not a fan of this. Look, one, 
two, three, four. Four. Some people have mascara faces. I have found, I have a foundation face, see? That's so I can blend it down onto my neck. Oh, by the way, my name is Sophia. I didn't say that. I also never wear foundation except for on stage for a show because I do theater. Oh, now I'm taking the same concealer that I used earlier under my eyes. I never wear foundation. I hate wearing foundation. It makes me feel terrible and it feels so heavy on my skin. Okay, there is one amazing foundation though. And I'm gonna get it close to tell you this. Oh, I gotta finish blending. I'm gonna get it close to tell you this because it's so awesome. Okay, yeah, that looks bad. Um, it's called the What's it called? Oh! It's called the It Cosmetics CC Cream Plus CC Plus foundation. Actually, I don't know what it's called. But I love it. I have a shade too dark because places need to fix their lighting. Oh, it's by It Cosmetics. Did I say that? I don't know. But it's amazing. It's so soft and it smells like lemon bars, which is crazy. I love lemon bars. I love lemon everything. This is already 24 minutes long. Okay, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild contour palette in Caramel Toffee. Do you say caramel or caramel? I don't know what it is. I usually say caramel because when I'm writing it down, then I don't forget the other, like if I'm writing the word caramel, then I don't forget the other A. But I don't care. Say it how you like. It doesn't phase me. I'm gonna try this nose contour brush. It's not gonna work well. But I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Did it work? The caramel toffee one is too. It's too warm for me, because I'm just so cold-hearted. I'm just kidding, I'm not cold-hearted. Please don't leave. Please watch my other videos. I promise, I'm not insane. It may seem like it, but I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna use this, um, one of those things that, the brushes that comes in the Anastasia Beverly Hills kit, or um, eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this brush here with like concealer on it or something. Just kinda try to cover that up. Because it doesn't look good. That didn't work. Wait, but that kinda did. Hey, look at me. I'm not as bad as this as I thought. Yes, I am. Okay. That was scary. Yeah, my 
nose is not as snatched as hers. Sorry, sister. Here's my OOTD. I'm wearing my this shirt that I got from Brandy Melville. And these leggings that I got from Prana. And these glasses I got from I Buy Direct. Anyway. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Note blush in the shade Desert Rose. It's by Note. Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. Oh yes, there we go, okay. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Okay, it's the Ink Gel Liner by Pretty Vulgar in the shade 01 Blacklist. It's super cool. I love it. My favorite way to use it is on this Aesthetica brush that I used to have, but it the bristles like went inside the brush, the, like inside the middle thing. So I don't have that brush anymore. So I'm going to use this one here, this BH Cosmetics 107 angled liner brush. Okay. Sorry for my weird eyeliner faces. Okay, now we're going to let those dry on my eyes. Oh, these are the lashes I used. Okay, now I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede Lip Color, lip in the lip, lipstick in the color Socialite. I'm gonna take this other Revlon. Um, this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick Cream in the shade 46 Bombshell Red. And I'm just gonna rub it on my finger and then kind of rub it in. <laughs> All right, here's the makeup look. I'll be right back with my hair done to make me look more like Audrey Hepburn. Hey guys, okay, so I just finished my Audrey Hepburn Breakfast at Tiffany's look. Okay, so I'm gonna take off this part of my face. Makeup. <laughs> As I come back, I'll be a changed woman. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. With normal hair now, just in a ponytail, and all of my makeup taken off right here, just around my eyes. See, well, okay, almost all my makeup, enough of my makeup for this to work. So now I'm gonna take this um, Glamouflage Concealer and conceal the bottom of my eyebrows to make them thin like Liza Minnelli's are. And I'll insert a picture of Liza Minnelli here. Eyebrows are normal. Look at them crusty lips. Okay. Uh, anyway, sorry that crusty queen came out of me. Okay, anyway, at some point her eyeshadow looks green. Okay, this is gonna look, this is gonna be weird. Alright, and we're just gonna go with it. So I'm taking 
this Moda Pro BMX 430 crease brush here and I'm gonna take okay I'm gonna go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette it's cracked I'm gonna take this shade here and just um, put it like on my outer corner It's kind of like going outward, see? Just like this. And like this. Like that, okay. Now I'm gonna take this green shade here. Right there. I'm gonna put it in the middle. Actually, no, I'm going to take this green shade here. Yeah, that's better. And I'm going to put it in the middle. Just like... I guess I'll use this one. I've got to be missing some brushes. I don't know where they are. But they aren't in my... jar. And so, now I'm going to take this... Um, now I'm going to take this shade here and put it down right below the green and kind of sweep it all the way across my lid. Oh, wow, that's really green. I didn't think it was that green. Okay, well then on top of that, I'm going to take this. On top of that, I'm going to take this shade here and just put it right on top. Alright guys, I'm back. I did the other eye off camera because I was like, mm, don't got time for this. Okay, so I'm going to pull up that picture again. Okay, so now I'm going to, okay, let's see what side of her face is on. And okay, I'm going to take this um, vintage cosmetics smoky eye pencil in jet black. I'm going to put it right and now, okay, I'm gonna draw little lines under my eye to make it look like I'm wearing false lash lashes. Now I'm done with that mascara by It Cosmetics. Yes, that's my mascara face. I know. Okay, now the tough part I'm gonna put on these false lashes by Baddington Lashes. These are the Monroe Silk 3D Lashes. They look like this. <sighs> kind of nervous, honestly. These lashes make me nervous, but they're also really nice. Like, hello there. I got them in my BoxyCharm. And ugh, these are the closest, I don't have very many pairs of lashes, but these are the closest thing I had to what Sally would wear. Sally being Liza Minnelli's character. Okay, now I'm back with both eyelash things on and the Revlon Colorstay lipstick. Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede lipstick in Boho Chic. I accidentally put it on off camera. That's why we don't have a clip of me putting it on. And this is the finished look. Here's my super ghetto fashion bowler hat. The finished product. Hey guys, so I totally didn't film an outro. So here I am back in my little make, excuse me back in my little makeshift filming studio. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
and without further ado, I'll see you in my next one. Oh, and by the way, it won't be a makeup video, most likely. Bye!